Welcome back to Tenorshare, everyone. Today, I'm bringing you a detailed guide on how to factory reset your iPhone. No matter the reason whether you're looking to sell, trade, or if you're faced with the challenge of a forgotten passcode, here's a possible solution for you. Solution 1. Reset on the lock screen. If your iPhone meets these conditions, running iOS 15.2 or later, logged in with your Apple ID, connected to cellular data or Wi-Fi. Factory resetting is a significant action. Ensure you have backed up all your data or be prepared to lose everything, as there's no way to retrieve data once the reset is complete. Here's how to reset on the lock screen. Tap Forgot Passcode. Start the reset and enter your Apple ID password. Choose the Erase option and wait for the process to complete. If your device fails to meet any of these requirements, or if the Erases button isn't functioning as expected, you can try next solution. Solution 2. Factory Reset iPhone with 4UK. This is a professional Apple device, unlocking tool, that can also perform a factory reset on your iPhone if it becomes locked. I've included a link in the description for you to download the tool. Connect your iPhone to your PC or Mac and open the 4UK application. Click on the Unlock Screen Start button. If 4UK does not detect your iPhone, you'll need to put it into recovery mode and click Start again. At this point, you'll need to download the firmware to factory reset your iPhone. Click Download to begin. The download time will vary depending on your network conditions. Once the download is complete, click Start to begin the reset process. 4UK will now start to factory reset your iPhone to its factory default settings. This process will take a while, so please be patient and relax. Okay, the process is done. Let's check it out. You should see that your iPhone now requires you to complete the setup, which indicates that it has been successfully factory reset. To speed up the setup process, you can set a new passcode or choose not to set one for now. You also have the option to restore your data on this page, but I will skip that step. Now you can see that my iPhone is as good as new after the factory reset. I hope this video helps you out. If you found it useful, consider subscribing for more tips and tricks. See you in the next video.